there has never been a superior time to consider a digital security profession. Cybersecurity careers are complex and many roles can be found with banks, retailers and government organizations. On the job, you can expect to safeguard an organization's files and networks, install firewalls, create security plans and monitor activity. And if a breach occurs, you'll be responsible for identifying the problem and finding out a solution quickly. So let's try to unveil how to build a career in cybersecurity. Hi guys, my name is Arya and I'm back again with another informative and interesting session on cybersecurity. So let me tell you all what we'll be discussing during the course of this session. So first of all, we're going to see where to start actually when beginning your career in cybersecurity. Then we'll explore through the various parts that are available in this domain. And then we'll also discuss the salaries that come along with it. Following which we'll also be discussing the skills required for being a cybersecurity professional and also the tools and technologies that you will be dealing with if you actually become a cybersecurity career guy. After that, we'll be actually discussing the future scope and the future estimates of salaries for cybersecurity professionals and also the related jobs that you could achieve. So let's get started. So because of the frequency of cyber attacks, careers are varied and qualified professionals are in demand. If you're ready to get started in this fast growing career, start exploring cyber careers now. And there are ample opportunities and job titles in the cybersecurity domain. Some of the top positions include people like security analysts who plan and execute flawless security measures. Then we also have security engineers who build IT security systems for your organizations. Then we have security specialists who at an entry level range is a person with a huge potential. Then we have incident responders who prevent and protect organizations against threats. Then we have vulnerability assessors whose responsibility is to spot system vulnerabilities and create solutions to them. Next, we have security architects whose job is to outsmart online criminals by designing tough to crack security systems. Next, we have security administrators who keep security systems running smoothly every day. Following which we have the cryptographers who write the code that hackers can't actually hack. Next, we have security directors who make the rules and solve complex problems regarding cybersecurity. Then we have security consultants who advise and implement security solutions. We also have security managers who keep the system secure with expert team advisors. Last but not the least, we have security auditors who find the weak spots in the security system before criminals do. Now when talking about a career in cybersecurity, it's easy to get confused where to actually start. So let's discuss that first. Now before you start your career in cybersecurity, you need to undertake the following steps. Firstly, you need to earn a bachelor's degree. While it's possible to find certain entry level cybersecurity positions with an associate's degree, most jobs require a four year bachelor's degree in cybersecurity or related fields such as information technology or computer science. Coursework in programming and statistics combined with classes in ethics and computer forensics prepare students with technical and analytical skills required for successful careers in cybersecurity. In an environment where data breaches are becoming the norm, more cybersecurity degree programs are being added every year. Before choosing a cybersecurity degree, prospective students should make sure that it is not only accredited, but also aligns with their current career goals. Secondly, we need to complete an advanced training. Now, some employers will require candidates to hold an advanced degree, such as a master's degree in cybersecurity. Now, prospective employers may offer tuition assistance to meet this goal, and a master's degree takes an additional one to two years to complete after the bachelor's degree level and provides advanced instruction in protecting computer networks and electronic infrastructures from attacks. Students learn the ethics, practices, policies, and procedures of cybersecurity as they study how to tackle network security defense techniques and countermeasures. Cybersecurity professionals can also earn certifications to boost their skills while working full time to gain hands on experience. Last but not the least, we need to pass a security clearance test. Now, security clearances are necessary for those who wish to work with classified information, for example, in a military government agency. A variety of agencies issue both personal and facility security clearances, but most are issued by the Department of Defense. Each type of clearance has its own procedures and paperwork and the process which takes three months to a year does not begin until an employer decides to hire you at which point you receive a conditional offer of employment. The first step is to submit clearance documentation followed by a background investigation. Now let's discuss the various career paths that are actually available in cybersecurity. New cyber threats appear constantly and creating new and innovative career opportunities. 
and because any individual or organization is a potential target for cyber attacks, from governments to banks to hospitals, cybersecurity professionals can find employment in a wide range of industries. Some of the most common career paths in this field include people like the Chief Information Security Officer, also known as the CISO, who is typically a mid-executive level position whose job is to oversee the general operations of a company or organization's IT security division. CISOs are directly responsible for planning, coordinating, and directing all computer network and data security needs of their employers. CISOs work directly with upper management level to determine an organization's unique cybersecurity needs. They are commonly tasked with assembling an effective staff of security professionals, which means that the position requires an individual with strong background in IT security architecture and strategy, as well as solid communication and personal management skills. Talking about the educational requirements, CISO positions normally require, at minimum, a bachelor's degree in cyber or information security, information technology, or other computer science-related subjects. Additionally, most mid-size or large organizations prefer their CISOs with a master's degree in one of the above-described subject or an MBA in a related subject such as information technology or database administration. Next up on our list of career paths is forensic computer analyst. The forensic computer analyst is a detective of the cybersecurity world. Forensic computer analysts review computers based information for evidence following a security breach or other incident. Tasks include handling hard drives and other storage devices and employing specialized software programs in order to identify vulnerabilities and recover data from damaged or destroyed devices. Forensic computer analysts must be sensitive to the security concerns of their employers or clients and follow closely all privacy procedures when dealing with financial and personal information. They must also keep detailed and accurate logs and records of their finding, which are often used in litigation purposes. Now on the point of education requirements, employment as a forensic computer analyst normally requires holding a bachelor's degree in computer security, forensic computing, or related subject. Previous experience may also be necessary depending on the company that you are looking to be employed in. Next up, we have information security analyst. An information security analyst is responsible for the protection of an organization's computer system and networks. They plan and execute programs and other measures including installing and using of software for data encryption and firewalls. Additionally, ISAs help design and execute plans and methods for the recovery of data and systems following a cyber attack. ISAs must continuously stay on top of the latest industry trends and cyber threats, which involves researching new security technologies and networking with other professionals. On the topic of educational requirements, ISAs need to earn a bachelor's degree in computer science or related area. There is a growing trend towards undergraduate degree programs specializing in the information security field, which may become the preferred choice of employers in the future. Now, employers, particularly large corporations or organizations, may prefer job candidates with an MBA in information systems. Next up, we have a penetration tester field. Now, penetration testing concerns the proactive authorized employment of testing techniques on IT infrastructures to identify system vulnerabilities. Simply put, that means penetration testers are given the permission to hack into a computer and network system to preemptively discover operating system vulnerabilities services and applications with problems in them, or improper configurations and more. And this is done before outsider intruders have the opportunity to cause some real damage. Penetration testers must be highly creative in their methods, often using testing tools of their own design to break into the system under scrutiny. Penetration testers are required to keep careful records of their activities and discovered vulnerabilities. On the topic of education requirements, penetration testers typically earn a bachelor's degree in information technology or cybersecurity or other closely related subjects. Many employers additionally require applicants to have earned relevant professional certifications too. Last but not least, we have the position of a security architect. A security architect is responsible for establishing and maintaining network security for his or her organization. Security architects work in all sectors of the economy for companies, government agencies, and nonprofit organizations. They may be employees of companies or independent contractors too. And in addition to working on specific security systems, security architects develop and implement organization security policies and procedures for employees and others with access to computers, networks, and data systems to follow. Now, security architects are responsible for the hands-on repair of issues raised in the problem, as well as an analysis of breaches following security incidents. They typically work in an office environment on a full-time basis.
on the topic of the education required. A job as a security architect normally requires a bachelor's degree in information security, information technology, or computer science. Some previous work experience is often required in addition to an undergraduate degree too. Okay, so now that we've discussed the various career paths that are available in the cybersecurity domain, let's discuss the salaries that go with them. Okay, so the explosion in the demand for skilled cybersecurity professionals combined with the scarcity in talent has resulted in high wages and excellent benefits for qualified applicants. So as you can see on the screen, I have listed out the national median salary is available for some of the most in-demand cybersecurity careers. So for example, a CISO or a Chief Information Security Officer earns around $143,000 a year, while a Security Director or a Computing Networking or IT Director earns around $120,000 a year. And this keeps going down to IT Security Consultants who earn around $80,000 a year. Okay, so now that we know the salaries that come along with cybersecurity jobs, let's look at the skills that are actually required for having a cybersecurity profession. So there are a number of core skills needed by anyone entering the cybersecurity employment market, whether starting his or her first professional job or transitioning from another computer-related field. Here are a few of the key required skills. So firstly, we need communication skills. Cybersecurity professionals must have strong written and verbal communication skills as the job in the field requires them to communicate clearly and concisely with clients and executives as to what the problem is and how they are trying to tackle it. Next up, they must be able to work in a team environment as it is a very important skill for almost any profession. Without a team member having a clear understanding of their responsibilities and how they integrate into the whole team, no job is actually possible. Next up, we also need some integrity and discretion. By its very nature, working in the cybersecurity field requires sensitivity to an organization's security vulnerability issues and to be able to tackle those issues in a way that engenders trust. Above that, a person pursuing a cybersecurity career must have some organizational and problem-solving skills as one of the most important characteristics of the cybersecurity business is the sheer mass and complexity of data involved. A cybersecurity professional must develop solid organizational and problem-solving skills or must risk being overwhelmed by his job. Next up, he must also have some programming skills as a variety of scripts and programming tools are often required to design effective cybersecurity programs. Then he must also have a good understanding of security principles such as the CIA triad like confidentiality, authentication, privacy, access controls, and many other such concepts. Next, he must be excellent at risk analysis as cybersecurity personnel must be able to assess a client's particular security needs in light of its organizational goals which require knowledge of risk analysis principles. Above that, network protocols must be at the tip of the tongues of cybersecurity professionals, as that is always what they're dealing with. Also, they must be able to actually identify malicious code from actually good code and how they are propagated and the risk associated with it. And last but not the least, they also need to have a good information on intruder techniques. As analyzing attacks, personnel should be able to recognize known intruder techniques and the characteristics and effects and identify new intruder techniques by means of elimination of the known ones. Okay, so now that we know the skills that you may require to become a cybersecurity professional, let's look into the tools and technologies that you might be handling on a daily basis. So the most effective tools employed by cybersecurity experts are software programs designed to protect against hackers, viruses, and the like. Here are some of the most pressing areas of cybersecurity technology focused on today. So the first is access management. Third-party identity and access tools are used to provide additional protection for security gap from Microsoft's Active Directory. Next, we also have botnet protection, which defends against botnets that would otherwise require individual identification and deletion. And now since a lot of the information is moving to the cloud, we also need some cloud-based security. And there are a variety of cloud-based SOS security tools available for network protection. Data encryption tools are also used to provide added security for data as it's being transferred, and data leak prevention tools also ensure system information is secure from intruder access and stores information in secure form in the event of a security breach. Nowadays, we also have endpoint protection tools which address security issues for endpoints such as PCs, mobile devices, network-connected printers, servers, and many such other peripheral devices. We also have intrusion protection tools which prevent attacks from viruses and malwares designed to harm both software and hardware. Next up, we also have next generation firewalls. When compared to traditional firewalls, provide additional capabilities like integrated intrusion protection, stateful inspection, and application and identity awareness. 
Last but not the least, we also have some wireless security which provides WEP or WAP security for data transmitted over wireless connections. Okay, so now it's time we see the future prospects of cybersecurity careers and their estimated annual pay. Now, according to Cisco Systems, there is a distinct shortage of cybersecurity professionals, particularly with those data science skills. As a result of this scarcity, many computer science workers, particularly those current in the IT field, are eyeing employment in cybersecurity. Indeed, as job growth goes, it's hard to find a profession that outpaces cybersecurity. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, for example, job growth from 2012 to 2022 for information security analysts is projected to be a nice 37%, compared with 18% for all computer occupations and 11% for occupations as a whole. So why is job growth in cybersecurity expected to be so robust? Well, cybercrime continues to be a significant and growing problem both in the United States and around the world. And for example, a record 79% of respondents to a recent PricewaterhouseCoopers study reported that they had detected some sort of cybersecurity incident within the last 12 months. Now, as the demand for cybersecurity experts grow, as does a variety of cybersecurity job titles. So here are a few examples of closely related careers along with their estimated total annual pay. So first of all, we have a computer and information research scientist. And to become one, you need a doctorate in computer science or any bachelor's may be sufficient for some government positions. They normally have a salary of around $102,000 and have a 15% growth every year. Next, we have computer and information system engineers. And to become one, you need a bachelor's in computer science or IT or related fields. And in some cases, you also need an MBA. They also have a handsome salary of $120,000 a year and a 15% growth above that too. There are also computer hardware engineers and you don't really need much education to become one. A simple bachelor's degree in computer science engineering is enough and you'll have a salary of around $100,000 a year and a growth of 7%. Next up, we have computer network architects, computer network support specialists and computer programmers. And most of them require a bachelor's degree in computer science, information system, engineering related fields or other communication related fields. Sometimes companies might even ask for an MBA degree according to their preferences. Also, they have some handsome salaries like a computer network architect makes around $91,000 a year. A computer programmer makes around $75,000 a year, while a computer network support specialist makes around $60,000 a year. OK, guys, so that was it from me about cybersecurity careers. I hope I could show you all the way as to how you could bootstrap your own cybersecurity career today. If you have any more doubts or if you're interested in more information about cybersecurity, don't forget to check out Edureka's cybersecurity course. That's it from me. Goodbye.